um, switching gears a little bit, um, stuff that's not going to be on the exam for tomorrow, um, or rather Thursday, um, we talked about, um, again, the four lobes of cortex, the frontal lobe, the different parts that we discussed there, the parietal lobe in terms of somatosensory cortex and location of motion, occipital lobe and visual system, um, and then olfactory and temporal lobe. Um, uh, this down here is mentions the hypothalamus, that's part of the autonomic system and part of the limbic system. Um, it's coming up right here. So um, along the midline of the brain, there are several structures that are collectively referred to as the limbic system. Um, the nucleus accumbens is a pleasure uh, area. The amygdala is, uh, is involved in a lot of autonomic regulation of emotions. We'll talk about what that means in just a second. It interacts with the hypothalamus. The cingulate is more sort of conscious perceptions of emotions. Um, orbital frontal cortex we've talked about already, sort of worrying and sort of managing appropriate behaviors. Um, and then the hippocampus is a structure that's involved in memory and also it turns out emotional and autonomic regulation. That's stuff that's on the homework that's due tonight, as well as on uh, going to come up when we talk about depression. Um, we also discussed the autonomic nervous system, um, the sympathetic and parasympathetic nervous system, and the functions of each. The sympathetic is the fight or flight or freeze response. It's the adrenaline response, um, and cortisol is also involved in that. We'll discuss all of that um, on Friday when we start to talk about major depressive disorder and anxiety disorders. The parasympathetic nervous system, on the other hand, is the rest and relax and digest um, that's involved in sort of turning down a lot of this uh, overactive uh, 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 external behaviors.